Okay, hi guys. So, some of you guys have requested that I show how to get my RTX 3050 Acer Nitro laptop to use the maximum wattage on the GPU. If you don't know what wattage is, the wattage is how much power that goes into the GPU. And depending on the brand laptop you have, pretty much all of them has two places they can be. The first place will be the base clock, and the second place will be the boost clock. That's as high as it goes. Right now, mine is running at the base clock, and I'm going to show you guys how to get it to how to get it to run at the maximum wattage of 75 watts. And if you look at the top right, top right, right here, it's sitting at 45 watts. That's the base clock for me. And it never go as high as 46 watts. 46 watts is as high as it goes for the base clock. And I'm going to show you guys how to get it to use a maximum 75 watts. So what I do every time that works. What I do is. First thing I shut down the game. Let's shut down the game. And also if you don't have a program like. I miss I have to burn to show you the wattage and the temperatures and stuff. You can't really tell if it's using base clock or the boost clock. It's good to know when your gaming laptops are using the base clock and the boost clock because when you ha when you're at the boost clock, you get the best of the best FPS. Okay, so what I do every time that works, I close them as I have to burner and we're going to do a trick with the charger. You can follow me. Follow my steps. Okay, so what I always do is I go to the charging port. I go here. I hold the charger. And I, I remove it. Boom. It's out. One, two, three, four. Plug it in. Where is this? Oh. Where's the hole? <laughs> I lost it. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Plug it in. Plug. Hold the charger. Plug it out. Boom. Oh. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Plug it in. Boom. It's in. Then you're going to plug it out again. Boom. And then you're going to count. One, two, three. Plug it in back. Boom. Okay. And now we're going to check if it's using the maximum boost clock. And how to do that, we're going to open it back. We're going to open... We're going to open back MSF the burner. And yeah, let's close this. And let's fire up the game and see. I do this every time and it works. So I'm just showing you guys how to do this trick. To get yours to use a maximum wattage of 75 watts. And yeah, let's see if it's uh let's see if it's using the 75 watts now. Uh, let's go let's go to the same place we were where we were standing just now i th i think we were getting about 77 fps 75 77 and yeah let's see let's see if the wattage is is at its boost clock now boom there we go you see that now let me let me hold on my face you see that and now we're at the 75 watts. We're now using the 75 watts. That's that's as high as it goes. And yeah, we're pretty we're getting pretty much the best of the best FPS this laptop can push out can push out right now. And let's go back up here. Just now we were right here and we were getting about 75 FPS. And now we're getting 80, 80, 90 FPS. 
And yeah. By, by the way, if you're wondering which Witcher I'm testing, this is the Witcher Next Gen. And as for my settings, my settings are set to... My settings are set to medium high. Shadow quality medium, terrain medium, water. The only option, the only graphic settings on high is texture. Everything else medium. Detail level medium, grass medium, foliage, uh, foliage, foliage range medium, grass density medium, terrain medium, RTX off, of course. <laughs> And yeah, that's for my settings. And yeah, this is how you get these RTX 3050 laptops to use the maximum wattage. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, this is a little trick I do. I do this all the time and it works. And just to let you guys know, if your laptop is using the base clock, don't worry, it's not broken. It's just a matter of power consumption. So just do the do the same trick I did, remove the charger, plug it back in, just count with me, remove the charger, one, two, three, four, boom, plug it in, plug it back out, plug it in right away, and then you check your wattage. But also, if you don't have, I'm going to say this again, if you don't have MSF to burner, you cannot tell if it's using base or boost clock, so you need something like MSF to burner to be installed. To open it as so you can see the wattage of what's going on behind the scenes and yeah this is my little video how to how to get it to use the boost clock and yeah i don't want to make this video too long and yeah thank you guys for watching bye